You're, okay, I'll read the question. You answer first. Alright. Who has the worst taste in music? Well, I think, you know, whenever we drive together, we listen to the same music in the car. Yeah. I never tell you to change a song because it sucks. Yep. And you don't do the same. So, I like to think that we have similar taste in music. Okay, so nobody has the worst taste. Well, we both smudge, have a really smudge is taste. pretty interesting. Yeah, it's kind of uh, a <laughs> house. Chill out. Okay, so nobody has a bad taste in music. No, we're all the good. The whole team has a good taste. Even in the garage. It's quite good. It's true. Except for Sid, he got his iPod stolen. <laughs> Next question. What's the best thing about coming to Silverstone? Definitely not the weather. <laughs> um, I think the best thing for me is I like this track. Uh, I won the championship there last year in British S3, so. I had some good moments in this track and uh, I hope that will uh, continue, so and I like it, I like the track. Um, for my side, um, this is kind of like a home race for me because obviously I don't race yeah, in Canada. Me too. And um, yeah, you know, it feels good actually sleeping in my own bed at my flat, so it's, uh, you know, it's always good to have some, some, uh, some friends come out to the races and what have you, so I mean, I think that's definitely good and, you know, the track has a good vibe itself. And um, you know, negative is really the inconsistent weather, and it's generally pretty cold. But last time I was here in 2008, it was fantastic the whole time. So maybe it'll be the same again. Go for it. <laughs> what is like fighting your teammate for the championship? Um. Well, it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> No, I mean it's it's obviously great for the for the team's championship that we're fighting for the championship. So it obviously means you know we're doing a pretty good job. But uh, you know it's the first for me actually competing with my teammate for the championship, and um, it has its pros and cons. You know obviously there's very good data to look at, but on the same token, it's you know you always have to race a teammate differently to a competitor because you know if you crash with your teammate, you're <laughs> you're, you're gonna get in a lot of trouble. So it's uh, we haven't had to come to that yet, <laughs> but. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, I mean, I think it's it's definitely, it's different than fighting another driver, but it definitely has its pros and cons. Well, I would say the same. Uh, we obviously have the same car, so one way I am up in the front, he's up in the front. Uh, when we have a bad car, we have a bad car together, so uh, we have to fight with the same, uh, exactly the same car, so that makes uh, everything even more, a little bit tighter, so even a bit more interesting and uh, well I think you should ask this question to try for example like in Spa <laughs> so he was losing his hair <laughs> so um, I don't know maybe let's see in the end of the season but uh, so far we didn't have any program and everything went really really good uh, obviously it's even easier for us to prepare the car for the races because we have both a good feedback and, uh, and every time um, we are on a different track, the, the car is going quick, so that's a good point. Who has the best fashion sense? <laughs> Go for it. I would say... <laughs> Even if you have uh, gold sunglasses. <laughs> gold Oakley sunglasses. Yeah. Um, no, I mean, Jeff likes his scarves. His Red Bull scarf. I mean, I think that's very fashion savvy. <laughs> but uh, definitely, the most out there would be Smudge with his hair and all that crap. But, <laughs> I mean, I don't really think I'm the most fashionable guy in the world. I keep it pretty simple. But, um, but yeah, so I'd probably rule myself out of that one. But I'd probably, I think Jeb likes his fashion. He wears his scarves, dyes his hair. <laughs> <laughs> That's the sun. <laughs> oh no, you're James. <laughs> Who is the most untidy? <laughs> what does it mean? It means you're messy. Me? Yeah. No way. <laughs> no way everything is. 
No, I think we actually keep an impressive, well-organized driver area in yeah. the back of the truck. Especially at the beginning of the weekend, maybe in the end of the weekend, it's a little bit more... It also depends how the session's going. Yeah. If it's a good session, everything's just perfect because, you know, you have time, you're happy, but, if, you know, if you have a bad session, there's, like, helmet upside down somewhere and your suit's on the ground. And yeah. <laughs> so, uh, basically, when you enter in the truck, you can say if the driver's had a bad session or a good session. It's true. Alright. That was yours or mine? No, that was yours. What has been the highlight of your season so far? Uh, for me? Yeah. I would say definitely Budapest. Uh, having a weekend with two wins, it's uh, it's pretty good. Fifty points, and uh, I came back as well in in the championship. So that was definitely the highlight of my season. Yours? Um, I'd have to say mine would probably be Nurburgring, where it could have been could have been fifty points, but um, ended up getting second in race two. But it was still a strong strong race, and I extended my points lead. And because I led the championship, I was able to get the uh, Lotus Renault F1 test in Budapest. So. It, uh, that was a good weekend for me, and I think that was probably been the highlight so far. This was my low height. I don't know how to say it. Low. Uh, what three words would you use to describe your teammate? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I'm lucky I read this question first. <laughs> um, he's French. <laughs> Okay, you're Canadian. <laughs> he's fast, and he's generally a nice guy. Ah, that's good. Thank you. <laughs> I know you love me, but don't say this in front of everybody. Really does. Okay, so three words. Um, looks like a teddy bear because he's from Canada, and I like it. So he's obviously a really nice guy, and um, too quick. Yeah, that's it. Too quick. <laughs> Not bad. That was your question? No, this one. This I think I've already read that one. Yeah, the, the last one. Which past or present sport man do you most admire and why? Um, I've always liked like uh, watching people like Travis Pastranas because they're so crazy and they're generally good, yeah, at me too. good at everything. Me too. Um, you know, but I think in terms of motorsports, you know, I, I've always looked up to Kim Rankin because I thought he was really funny and he was entertaining to watch. But, um, no, I mean, I think if the question was who would you want to spend a day with, I think I would pick Travis Pastrana over any other sportsman just because I think it would generally be fun. Yeah, me too. Same answer. Um, maybe in the, in the past, uh, definitely at on Senna. And, uh, yeah, but obviously I can't spend a day with him, so... Uh, yeah, that's on I'm present is uh, Travis Pastrana, yes. That's it. Have a good weekend.